An invasive species, lampreys have decimated game species in the Great Lakes. They have been the fishing industry's public enemy no. For more than a century, ever since they reached the Midwest from the Atlantic Ocean via ship channels, according to Ann Arbor-based Great Lakes Fishery Commission. Lampreys are parasitic fish with a suction cup mouth, ringed with sharp, horny teeth, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The lamprey uses its rough tongue to rasp away the fish's flesh so it can feed on its host's blood and body fluids. One lamprey kills about 40 pounds of fish every year. Because lampreys have disappeared from England, yet are abundant in the Great Lakes, the Fishery Commission has provided lampreys to England for nearly two decades on major occasions involving the monarchy, said Mark Gadden, Deputy Executive Secretary for the Fishery Commission the most recent time. So, we are a tiny little part of history, Gaddon said Saturday. We have lamprey coming out of our ears every spring, when we trap them. We use them for research and also for outreach, showing them to boaters. Queen tribute, Prince Harry gives touching tribute to his granny and her infectious smile what's next? And could Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan's children gain royal titles now? So it was just a matter of taking about five of them, freezing them and shipping them FedEx, he said. The Fishery Commission operates through a treaty between the United States and Canada, and it supports a coalition of Michigan and seven other states, Ontario, and indigenous tribes. It spends about $25 million a year keeping lamprey in check to preserve the fish stocks in the Great Lakes, whose eco. All the Queen's corgis, Queen Elizabeth had so many corgi dogs, Princess Diana reportedly called them the moving carpet what is the Commonwealth? Colon what countries are part of it? Want to know after Queen Elizabeth II's death Gaddon expects to get a call for more lamprey in the near future, whenever a date is set for the coronation of the new monarch, Charles III. As usual with English royalty, the tradition goes back centuries, he said. This all started in the Middle Ages when the city of Gloucester in England had to pay homage to the reigning monarch, and the city's way of doing that was to present a pie made of lamprey, which at the time were considered. The gift quickly became the city's traditional way of showing respect to the monarchy. Fast forward to 2002, Gaddon got a call from Gloucester.